Good morning, kids for Christ. Are you ready for praise, for fellowship, and for the word? Today's word will be given by our very own campus pastor, Charles Prescott. But before we get into the word, let's get into our activity as it is first instead of last. Our activity is titled, My Listening Ears. To create your listening ears, you will need a pencil and some construction paper. You will take your pencil and trace your ears out, then you will cut them out. Once you are done with that, you will take your construction paper and cut them into two strips. Both strips should be even as they will make a headband. Then you will take one strip and write my listening ears on it. So you still should have two strips, but one of your strips you will write in my listening ears. Once you are done writing on your strip, you will take both strips and connect them. Once, you are con once you're done connecting them, you will take the ears and place them on the side. So you should have a headband that looks something like this. So you have the first strip that says my listening ears. Then you have a strip in the back. Then you have your ears on the side. This is your headband that you will wear while listening to the sermon. Now, before we hear the word from campus pastor Charles, let's get in a prayer position for a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you as humble as we are, Lord. Thank you, you for this day and keeping us safe throughout the night. Please protect our hearts and minds on today. Help us rise above any negativity, harshness, or division going on right now, oh Lord. Please help us to focus on what we have instead of what we lack. I know this is a trying time and we may feel like we can't catch a break, but you are good all the time, Lord. Therefore, we commit this day to you and all that's in it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hey kids, good morning, children and youth ministry. I'm Pastor Charles, your campus pastor. I'm so excited to be here with you guys for this little bit of time I have you. Since COVID-19, this is my first time actually addressing the kids ministry and I'm super excited about it. Can I tell you how much we really, really miss you in church? How much we really, really miss seeing you guys? Um, and I, it's just a great day and I'm, I'm just happy that I'm here to share this story with you. The story of this prophet, this man named Samuel. We saw who Samuel was in our video earlier and, and that's all the message is today. And one thing we took from that message is that what? God knew who Samuel was. And because God knew who Samuel was, he was able to, he was able to call him by name and Samuel was able to answer. So you guys, when we call your name, do you answer? My name is Charles. When people call my name Charles, I answer. When they say Charles, I go, hello, 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 hello. I have to answer that because our names. Now, here's the cool thing about Samuel. God called him by what? His name. Can you believe it? God called this little kid by his name. God himself called Samuel by his name. And that's what's awesome today, kids, is that guess what? Not only did God know Samuel's name, God also knows your name. So today, for this little minute that I have you, we're going to talk about the subject, God knows who I am. God knows who I am. So in our Bible, we come from the book of 1 Samuel, the third chapter. In that first chapter, if we look all the way down to verse 10 is what I want to I wanna focus at. So first, first Samuel chapter 3, verse 10. And the Lord came and stood and called as other times, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel answered, Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. God knows who you are. Now, here's the key. When we call your name, do you answer? And how do you feel when people call your name? So Samuel called, Samuel was called by God. And God said, Samuel, Samuel. And he says, speak, God, for your servant hears you. Now, what's the tricky part about it? As we learned from the video, Samuel didn't recognize that it was God that was calling him the first two times. He didn't have a clue because you know why? God had not spoken in such a long time that many people didn't realize who God, that God's voice 
really could talk anymore and really could call people. He saw enough to call Samuel. He thought enough to call. Who would have thought, right? So as we look at it, guys, I'm here with a short message, and it's God knows who you are. God really knows who you are. He he knows. Did you have a clue? Could you even could you have even imagined that God knows who you are? Did you ever in your wildest dreams when you woke up this morning, when you tuned into virtual worship to see Pastor Charles, did you think that God knew where he knew your name? Now, I don't know about you guys, and I know you hadn't been alive long enough to really understand it, but where I'm from, that's a big deal when people know you by your first name, when they can call you by your first name. For instance, when they call me by my first name, when people say Charles, there are people that are really close to me, they're my family, like my wife, or they're really close friends, or they're people I really care about. Guys, my child doesn't even call me Charles. I'm sure, I'm almost positive that you don't call your mom and dad by their first name, do you? You're not supposed to, <laughs> out of a sign of respect. But when you see your mom, and you see your dad, you see your grandmother, and people call them by their first name, they interact with them a different way because that means they have a special relationship. If people call you by your first name, it's a special relationship. So here's the thing, Rick. If God calls you by your first name, that means you have what? A special relationship with who? I don't hear you. I don't hear you. I ask that question again. If God calls you by your first name, you have a special relationship with who? God himself. Him himself. You have a special relationship with him. Can you believe that? God can call you by your first name, regardless how old you are, regardless of what color your skin is, regardless of where you grow up, regardless of what side of town you live on. God knows your name. And because he knows your name, that makes your relationship with him, say it, special. Say it with me. My relationship with God is special. I don't hear you guys out there. Parents, I need you to help me out. Get your right hand, everybody. Get your right hand. And repeat after me. My relationship with God. I don't hear you. There you go. My relationship with God is special. One more time, because I enjoyed it. My relationship with God is special. Because he knows our name. Because he knows who you are. And that's the awesome the awesome thing. Now, even when Samuel grew up in the house of Eli at, at the church down in Shiloh and, and his name was called, he got up like he was supposed to. He answered. He went to Eli and said, Master, 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 you called me. Here I am. And he said, I didn't wake you up. I didn't call you. Go back to sleep. Anybody ever woke up out of their sleep before out of a quick dream or something and somebody may have called your name and you went to somebody, you tried to figure out what it was and nobody had an answer? Well, that was Samuel. He didn't have an answer at the time when people called his name, when God called his name. So he went to Eli. Eli said, man, go back to sleep, Samuel. We got a long day tomorrow. We had a long day today. Go back to sleep. So Samuel, being a good kid, did what? I don't hear you. He went back to sleep, right? Mom, when mom, dad tells us to do something, don't we do it? Right, so was Samuel wrong for not going back to sleep? I mean, for going back to sleep. He wasn't, but when he laid down again, he heard another, he heard God again. Samuel, Samuel. And he answered, but he answered to Eli. At this time, Eli had to realize that I didn't wake you up. Maybe it was God. So next time God wakes you, Samuel, next time you hear this voice, just open up and say, speak, Lord, because your servant is listening. Samuel, okay. All right. So he lays down again. He goes back to sleep. And he hears it again. Samuel. 
Samuel. He says, speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. And when Samuel answered God, God spoke to him. And he prophesied to Samuel of what his life was going to be like. That's what's important today, guys, that God thought enough of Samuel to come talk to him himself. But I want you to know this, that God will talk to you. God will talk to you every day you need him to throughout your life. But you have to remember that your relationship with God is special and he knows your name. I promise you God knows who you are. So that you grow up, kids, and you, you move out throughout life. You're going to get down sometimes. Sometimes you're going to be happy. Sometimes you're going to be sad. Sometimes you're going to have a lot of friends. Sometimes you're going to have a little bit of friends. But the number one friend you can have is, I'm going to spell it, G-O-D, God. That's your best friend. That's the best friend you can ever have. And guess what? He knows your name. He called Samuel's name. But what Samuel did is just as important as God calling him. He answered. He answered God. And he kept answering God throughout his entire life. And whatever God told him to do, he did it. So here it is, guys, as I come to a close today. God is calling your name. God knows who you are. Don't be afraid of him. Don't be afraid to speak to him. Don't be afraid to love him because he loves you unconditionally. Sometimes people will call your name. You'll get caught up in noise. You may answer to the wrong people, and they might not be the ones that called you. But if you but if you hear your name being called, and nobody said they called you, just ask God, God, are you talking to me? God, are you talking to me? Speak, for your servant is listening. Remember, guys, your relationship with God is special. So special that he knows your name. Many people will come and go in your lives that don't know you. But God knows you. He knew you from the day you were born. He'll know you until the day you're no longer living. Because your relationship with God is special. And he knows who you are. So guys, I love you. I enjoy being here today. Thanks for letting me come to this space. I promise this won't be my last message to you guys. I'm going to come back with Miss with Miss Kenya, with Miss Terry, everybody as often as I can to come and check in on you guys. But can we get, before I go, can we say a special prayer together? Do you mind if Pastor Charles prays with you? Because I hadn't seen you in a while. And I just want to make sure everything's okay with you. So guys, if you can, I want you to take your right hand, put it over your heart. Right hand over heart. Close your eyes and let's pray. You ready? Countdown. One, two, three. Let's pray. Dear God, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, God, for being amazing. Thank you, God, for being the awesome God that you are. Thank you, God, for anointing this time and this space that we were able to share together. Realizing, God, that you know who we are and you know us by name. It's my prayer, God, that every youth in this ministry that's watching right now, that will watch later, along with their mothers, their fathers, their guardians, big sisters, big brothers, whoever they're with them, it's my prayer, God, that you send a special blessing to them and let them know, God, that they are special and you love them unconditionally. So, dear God, we love you and we praise you. And, God, I pray that you keep a covering over all of the youth and their family and over our church. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, I want you all to say, my relationship with God is special. Look, I love you guys so much. It was a joy to see you. Happy Sunday. Shalom. See you next time. Before we go, there are a few announcements. Send your activity photos to ministries at SalemBibleChurch.org as we would love to share them. Follow us on all our social media outlets as well as sign your children up today via our youth ministry registration form on SalemBibleChurch.org so you don't miss what's to come. 
Until then, stay safe, wash your hands, wear your mask, and we'll see you next Sunday. Bye.